All right, hello everybody. We were already introduced, but I'm going to introduce ourselves again. I'm Madison Rice. I'm an environmental engineering master's student. This is Michelle Henderson. She is an environmental engineering doctoral student. And this is Jawahar Sultan. She is a teacher education doctoral student. And this is It's More Than Dirty Water. And secondary students help solve the world's drinking water crisis. So, this is the distribution of years of life lost due to illness, disability, and early death due to unsafe drinking water. The lightest blue is over 1,500 years of life lost per 100,000 people, while the darkest blue is only 31 years of life lost due, due to unsafe drinking water. All right, so there is a real need for a technology that can rise to this challenge and take water that looks like the flask on the left and turn it into the flask on the right. But it's not as simple as making the water look good. There are microscopic organisms in water that can do harm to us called pathogens that need to also be removed in order to ensure the safety of the water. So one technology that can do this is the biosand filter. These are point-of-use drinking water treatment systems, which means that they treat the water where you drink it. So in your own home, in a church, in a school. Um, it uses sand as a filter media and biological treatment in order to treat drinking water. Overall, these work by pouring dirty water in the top and clean water comes out over time, but there's a lot more going on within these filters. So biosand filters are special because they have an elevated outlet tube that lets them hold the water within them in between uses. So the word dirty water gets additional treatment all day long. But these filters aren't perfect. Dissolved contaminants that can cause acute health effects such as arsenic, lead, and fluoride don't go treated through biosand filters. There are many parts of the world where these contaminants are abundant in drinking water. And the goal of my research at USF is to modify these filters so they can remove these contaminants. All right, so these modified filters don't only have a different design, like the picture on the left, they have different media, shown in this picture on the right, and it's a biotar and pumice, and then there's sand as our control. Um, so over the course of this experiment, we're going to have six of these filters run for several months with the different media, different coatings, and uh, we're going to test the removal of fluoride. And similar to Madison's research, we've done research in six high school and middle schools in Florida, and one school in Ghana. And a part of that research is engaging students in how to develop scientific research questions. So this looks like showing the students the different media materials and then asking them, how can we change the different parameters so that we can get the desired results? So here you see students learning about the media, and then we ask students, can we change the cleaning frequency, the amount of water that's poured in so that it could affect parameters such as turbidity or pH? Now, the first part of building a biosand filter is the same which is very labor intensive, but the students love it. So it allowed the students to engage and learn what it looks like, and what it would it be like in another country to actually develop these biosync filters. So students were able to get groups and sieve the materials based on the different sizes. After the students were able to sieve the materials, they had to construct the biosync filters. So alongside previously commercially developed biosync filters, there were also biosync filters that were developed by the students which are indicated here as they develop a two-bucket design, which actually helped to influence Madison's design. So you can see that the students are actively engaged in building these filters. And this is the final product. You'll see that on the left-hand side, we have the two-bucket design of the biosand filters compared to that commercial design. And on the left, we have PVC pipes. And the students got really engaged, and they were able to even decorate of the biosand filter, which goes to show the, the way for them to um, really engage and make it more personal. So after the students were working with the biosand filters, we asked them to take measurements. So you can construct it, but they needed to make sure that the biosand filter is working. So the students measured the flow rate, other parameters such as turbidity, nitrates, pH, so that the filters were effectively working. And that was done here in the United States and again we're not. So to measure the student's outcomes, the students were able to do presentation among the peers. So on the left we have a poster presentation of the work that was done in Florida where students were able to present their work to the different peers and same thing with Donna. So 
our qualitative data collected from interviews with the student as well as observations of the student and teacher engagement in this authentic science experience during spring 2019 indicate the following results. Participating in this project has a positive impact on student belief in their capacity to do science um, and even become a scientist, which motivates their students to the goal of what science is, who scientists are, and what it means to really become a scientist. So students emphasize major differences between engaging in the Biosan filter project and the regular science classes. This includes having scientists in the school, long-term engagement, uh, working on teams, declaring their research questions or research method, as well as continuous, in, uh, continuous measurement and unknown results. Also, our students reported that this project empowered them where they felt mature, responsible, and able to create change in the world. As a result of their engagement in a research that had real world implications in people in the developing countries which really enhances their self-esteem and their ability to become a scientist. Also, our student asserted that engaging in this project has uh, affected their lifestyle and lead them to conserve water at home and share that with their families and friends. As many of them had a personal experience with a lot of water as they come from developing countries and or have families there. So, in total, this project has positively influenced their desire and interest in science and science-related careers. The majority of them tell us they really want to be a scientist or including science-related careers. To conclude, the students believe through participating in this project, they believe they really gain methodological, social, interpersonal, and intellectual skills. Thank you. Thank you.